first of all guys uh, past mock problems these are a couple of previous year uh, questions right and i'm hoping that you guys will be able to solve these questions they are not very difficult per se and at the same time uh these questions will give you a taste of the mock tests right so obviously it is about some time when we start solving the past mocks or the past cat problems so these are just a snippet of the upcoming classes that we are going to have right so this is the first question in our repository let's look into this question this question says currently there are 100000 people living in a town named jhumri talaiya out of which 1% people are doctors okay this year new chemical factories factories were started in jhumri talaiya and a number of engineers from other places migrated to the town to work in the factories after that the percentage of doctors in jhumri talaiya dropped to 0.8% how many engineers from other places migrated to jhumri talaiya if it is known that only engineers from other places migrated to the town and no other changes took place in the population of the town okay now because varun has already given me an answer so i'm not going to poke him i will possibly give varun uh, samundram some time he's left okay, he probably will join us Okay, before joining, uh, do you have the answer? No, right. I think it is twenty-five thousand only. Yeah, twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. This is a theta one. So in the meantime, he joins in. If you could just tell me, like, what is it that you did, so that me like uh, point one percent, point one percentage of thousand is uh, like that number is thousand, right? Hmm. Okay, and uh, thousand that particular number reduced to point. Zero zero eight under one percentage, mm. and uh, th well, that particular th now thousand by point zero eight point uh, zero eight gives one lakh twenty five thousand, mm. and uh, subtracting thousand uh, that one lakh gives twenty five thousand. Mm. It's standard method only. Yeah, that works actually. But I am uh, Varun. Is it audible for you? Are you able to listen to us? Yes, 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 sir. Okay, I'm giving you some time. Look into this question. Try this out, and if you are able to produce a solution or an answer, we can proceed, right? Okay. And sir, actually, hmm. Uh, you know, while doing this, uh, um, LRD, if you have whatever videos you have shared, mm -hmm. some questions I deliberately skip. Like uh, I even like big, the very, you know. Uh, the one that has to be left even the uh, like 25 minutes 30 minutes video solution and all that uh, mm -hmm. i used to leave it because i know it i'm not any course i'm not going to do that <laughs> we will discuss about that towards the end of the session yeah, okay, don't okay, worry yeah. okay. i have some worries with that uh, because i am trying to push up to 5 day 5 year day but uh, three only 3 to 4 is manageable i don't know why we will we will discuss about that yeah. i have something to uh, talk to you also one more thing guys you know i have a problem you know with the afternoon classes the okay. 2 pm thing will not be able to happen i can you know i was thinking about my schedules and everything and i realized that i can do 5 to 6 30 or, or 7 5 to 7 i'm that... i'm more than happy with that <laughs> uh, but i am i want to know if varun is also available because that is he going to be Varun, are you available? Because this college time finish is after well, five okay, to six thirty. Yeah, sir. Are you okay five with that? Six, yeah, he said okay. So that you know, I can sometimes even accommodate Vaishnavi also. Yeah, because both are happy with that. Vaishnavi, I don't know what she's like. What I usually the take a nap at um, those time, like after job. So I <laughs> literally that time I do nothing. So no issues. Sometimes even I take a nap at that time. That's yeah. that's I would not you know there's no shame in admitting it. I yeah. you know the point is that my our brains are active almost twenty four seven. Okay, so even I, while I, I'm I, sleeping, I'm yeah that's it. Yesterday like uh, once I've you know I texted you right hmm. uh, like at three in the morning. Yeah. Like one I you know I I took a break after your class and uh, I was chatting with the, with one of my friend <laughs> and after that I told her okay friend. I'm going to leave quote and friend quote and quote friend. <laughs> yeah. I told her that dude let's uh, go for yeah. sleep while <laughs> Yeah. I'll text you tomorrow and I started yeah. doing the VRC thing like 40 minutes. If a but, dude texts you at 3 a.m. there's something wrong with them. 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she likes me very much. Be fine. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> But um, if that is I not a dude, then it's a good one. Yeah, it's not a dude. It's a girl. <laughs> and uh, she's twenty-seven and looking for a ma- marriage prospect. And I'm looking for a marriage prospect. Let's see. It will work. Out, works out. Wow. We'll come to your marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right, let's say like uh, you know, I did the VRC and uh, and after that I can't sleep because you know mm-hmm. after an exam the brain still working. You know. We yeah, can't yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, because we are sleep e- just tough. Yeah. Even so. Even I, listen. What I do, I'll tell you what Varun. I'll tell you what I do. So. initially in the, these days i'm not able to do that but initially when that, that kind of a thing used to happen after a mock test in the you know late in the night yeah. uh, 2 3 in the night and when i used to take those tests or whatever if i'm even practicing some questions for let's say my own sake okay mm-hmm. i also needed to practice and these days i'm not able to practice as much but yeah. there was a time when i used, when i used to also practice so what used to happen is that i, I was if the weather is okay i go and take a bath generally okay. the bath basically calms me down and if it is winters maybe warm water ka bath is okay but i think people will not go to take a bath in the winters yeah. and cat preparation generally does not happen in winter so i think we have the levy of getting a bath yeah. in the night yeah so even you know these days conditions are humid so i just i just go and take a bath and i just sleep after that after that i can sleep but if i'm not bathed okay. uh, then my brain doesn't stop Exactly, that's the issue. Like, but the worst thing is that as yesterday, so happy with the mock. Okay, we are see fine. Okay, good score. Okay, fine. So I uh, happily went to the bed. I didn't get sleep. I slept at four thirty. But so, that very two day, I was very yeah, tired. Oh, hold on, Varun. He has a he has an answer. Yes, yes, twenty five. Yes. Varun, just tell me like what is it that you did? No, I'm talking to you, Varun. Oh uh, yeah, yes. Sorry, I'm in. itself i don't know how it happened i mean 1% of doctors is 1000 right yeah and later uh, 0.8% are dropped means uh, we know that uh, they, they, uh, there are 1000 uh, sorry 1000 by total population equals to i mean 1000 mm. by 1 lakh plus c into 100 equals to 0.8% mm-hmm. so that By solving it, we get e equals to twenty thousand. I mean, we know the percentage zero point eight drop rate equals to the uh, doctor's population by a uh, new population one lakh plus immunes. Yeah. Just confirm to me if you guys are doing also a similar thing. So this is going to be like I can. I can just get rid of two zeros, two zeros, right? And uh, m- maybe just take a one thousand by zero point eight. Okay, I can cut this by one twenty five or whatever. I can let's do that only. That is equals to thousand, hundred thousand plus x, right? Eight will yeah. cut thousand by one twenty five, right? So this is going to be one twenty-five uh, zero. I hope I haven't made any errors, right? Yeah. So hold on. Have I have I? Made any calculation? Oh, there is a hundred over there also. I'm sorry, extremely sorry. This hundred will cut this hundred, right? So this is going to be one hundred thousand only. Unfortunately, I this is zero point eight percent now. So hundred is going to be there also. So this is hundred thousand in the numerator. Okay, and a ten when you get rid of this decimal. So this is one twenty five. Double zero and one zero, so one two five triple zero and hundred thousand. So x comes out as whatever one two five triple zero minus one uh, one hundred thousand. That is twenty five thousand. Remember, x is what x is the number of engineers that got added to the population. What is the population? Hundred thousand is the population. So the answer to that would be to twenty five thousand only, right?
shall we go to the next one or do you want yes. to have a scrutiny on this one no if you guys have a different method i don't have a problem like more or less we are doing the same Actually, thing the only. same method only that uh, you've done different steps but the concept yeah. is the same yeah, yeah. I mean, okay population by new population into 100 equals to 0 0.8% yeah okay let's do one more i'll uh Okay, guys, you were saying something. Now continue. No, I was saying like after that, um, you know that the today was too sleepy. I don't know why it doesn't happen, but at times we become too sleepy. Like no, I think that can also be because of the weather also. Yeah. Because if if it is too much raining and stuff, then it's raining. It was raining here, and um, I woke up at ten thirty, but again, uh, I it took a lot of time for me to have attraction when even though I sit on a laptop. I was doing nothing rather than doing two, three LRDI. <laughs> okay, this is from higher number concept. Okay, okay remainder well, theorem. So take your time, whatever, how much time you want to take, as much time as you want to take. Okay. Sir, I need a clue where to start. I forgot. <laughs> I no, I am not going to say. I am not going to give any clue because you know we have done this topic. Yeah, we if, we, done if we haven't done this topic, I would have given you clues. I am going to give you time to think. Okay. If you need three minutes, four minutes, I am going to give you three minutes, four minutes. But I am not going to give any clue because if I give you a clue, then the problem is solved. This is not okay. very difficult, mind you. Both of you. Yeah. Okay. Also, let me tell you one thing. If you want to, let's say, a hint something, let, uh, you know, there are fancy remainder theorems, but you can do it with cyclicity also. That much clue I'm giving. Like the basic remainder theorem, which uses the cyclicity property, you can use it and you can solve it. You don't mm -hmm. really need to have any. Yeah, with fancy remainder theorems also, we can solve it. Chinese remainder theorem and stuff and like that. Guys, have we started the recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are on record. It reminds me the ad of Rahul Dravid while you are running successfully, how you get bored out. <laughs> Unfortunately. Now, what are you saying? Yeah, there's an ad, right? Uh, you know, moving. You are moving good, and uh, you get a run out. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Divided by I have a bad, you know, itch that 
maybe Sir, I mean, we need to split twelve, three, four. Varun, I am not understanding what you're saying. Is it possible if you could just speak a little loud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, by splitting 12, 3 into 4 and uh, splitting the 50 or 50. But Varun, the numerator that is 12 raised to 50, why do you want to split that numerator? We can do that, but by the way, we can do that. Okay. So, uh, uh, can you tell me once again what, what is it that is going on in your head? I mean, I totally forgot. I mean, three power. Uh, <laughs> you totally forgot. Power. I mean, the number theory. <laughs> By thirty, I mean, we can write. He's so, you know, he's so cute. He's a. I, I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we can write thirty as six Pfizer and three power fifty two power. Uh, uh, we can cancel this. I was, uh, sir, actually, I, I, you I know what? Trying, trying, <laughs> I, I, I was actually, uh, you know, no, trying... but take a second, guys. Hold on. Oh, hold on. What you are saying is to some extent, it makes sense that, you know, we can split up the this thing. The problem is that even if I start, you know, if I just write one thing in the screen, it will give you the answer. Okay. So I just am trying not to write anything and but yeah, we can try that now Varun try that if you can split the numerator okay. to something try that if you can get something and remember we are dividing by 30 6 into 5 Yeah, well, 6 into 5 though we can do but if you do 6 into 5 that is Chinese remainder theorem mind yeah. you Which you guys have not seen the recording also which I <laughs> created yeah. for you <laughs> We didn't do the Chinese remainder theorem uh, on the classes, but I did a recording out of it but you didn't even saw okay. that but i'll oh, give you an idea i'll give you i'll give you the chinese remainder theorem idea also but let's see i'm just looking i'm going through the notes <laughs> <laughs> okay see there are many things that is popping up in my head for example euler is popping up okay but then Euler, okay, 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 okay. Euler is also popping. What is the totient number for 30? 30 being a uh, let's say composite number, it's not a prime number. Okay. So you if it had been 29, then the totient number of, of that would have been 28. So then we could have done something. Okay, but over here it's not even that. So what do we do? So one thing, guys, now see. Let me can I solve it? Hello? Yes, sure. Please go. Okay, so see, uh, 12 raised to the power 50 upon 30. Now, what is it that is causing me problem? What is it that is causing me problem? I think it is the 30 in the denominator. Yeah. Right. So let's do one thing. Let's take 112 out of the 12 raised to 50. Write it over there. Okay. Mm. If I do this, can I cut it by some number? Hello? Yeah, 6 would be. 6 twos are 6 fives are. Now remember, this is the most important thing. In remainder theorem, I have taught you guys this thing. Whenever we reduce the you know, number by, uh, let's say, any number that 6, we have reduced the number by 6. After everything, you will have to multiply the six back into the picture remember that thing so six will be multiplied back and i have given you the reason for that also yeah one by two is not equivalent to two by four yeah okay that those are two separate entities anyways but we can do that much if that is the case then we now my entire thing basically boils down to this 12 raised to 49 by mm -hmm. five into two two now remember five being a prime number we can do many things yeah. So we can do many things with it. What what is it that you will do now? Uh two by five remains with three. 
how is 2 by 5 remainder will be you know you have basically given me the shockers like anything oh, sorry 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 yeah 2 by 5 the remainder <laughs> <laughs> okay think about it i'm giving you some time okay i'm giving you some time think about it is it okay if i give you a quick answer to this yes so see the thing that is popping up in in my head is that they have asked for the remainder and if you realize we have taken out a 6 from the this original number yeah so i will have to multiply 6 back into the number right so yeah. whatever is my answer has to be a multiple of 6 the first number which is not a multiple of this thing so this cannot be my answer other than you know other than the first one everything is a multiple of 6 can you see that this yes. is this is what is calling observing the options you are not going to solve the question as much as you should be observing the options right because there will be many uh, option questions and there will be many theta questions also but <coughs> not as many theta questions but there is even more this there is even one more interesting thing that i can find out you know this is 12 raised to the power 49 can i say this thing hold on just a second yeah just a second yeah yeah this thing can i say that this 12 raised to the power 49 can be written as 2 raised to the power 49 just for the sake of last digit okay yeah just for the sake of last digit now can anybody quickly tell me what is the last digit of this number you can have multiple thoughts in your head sir you told us that you know 2 raised to the power 10 is okay uh, going 90, to be 102 for this and that but i am telling you one thing go by cyclicity method 92 18 kind of raised okay 2 ka cyclicity what uh, is the two, cycle 2 ka 4 8 Yes, very good, very good. Go two, four, and then eight. Eight, sixteen, uh, and six. Yeah, six. Then two, four. Yeah, again. Mm. So this is the cycle of two raised to the power something. Yeah. What is this number? Two raised to the power forty-nine. So this is going to be two raised to the power four k plus one. Four k plus one. Mm. So what is going to be my last digit of the remainder? Four k plus one. Yeah. It is not going to be this one, na? This one, four k plus one. Four k is this one. Remember, four k yeah. plus four. Okay, so four k plus one, forty nine. The last digit has to be what? Quickly, two. quickly, quickly. Two. Two. So this is the last digit coming out as two. I already have a two over there. That is four. four. So far the remainder is zero. But remember, there is a six also that I need to multiply. So four into six is twenty four. Okay. okay. Now tell me, is the remainder going to be four? No, it is twenty four no. only. Twenty-four. Because last digit is giving me two. Final remainder will be two into two into six. That is twenty-four. Okay. Yeah. But this is a shortcut. I am saying. Think about some other methods of your own. Think of something, na guys. Think of something. Do you remember this? There is one one thing that I told you. We are trying to find either a remainder of one through it, okay? Either a remainder equals to one or minus one. That would have made my life much more easier. So twelve k power one is a twelve. So the remainder is two. Twelve square is one forty four. Doesn't help me. Okay. Okay. So what do I do? What do I do? I'm not giving you an answer. I'm just poking. some thoughts over there you have already got the answer i'm just trying to ask you is there any other method through which we can do it or like at least do this much you know i am i'm surprised none of you guys at this point said ki sir use euler can we or can we not use euler Need to find the torsion, isn't it? 
quotient of that is going to be 4 okay so because it's a prime number 5 na so 12 yeah. raised to the power 4 raised to the power let's say how much 12 that is a 48, 48 into 12 and then, and then a 12 and then a 2 by 5 euler of this thing gives me what 1 because 4k will give me a 2 cent ke power whatever will give me a remainder of 1 so i am left with just this two part 12 to the 24 24 24 what is the remainder tell me guys quickly remainder is 4 na 4 5 5 5 4 20 20 oh so the sir are you eliminated 4 you don't know sir anything you should know 6 yes 6 will get multiplied we have to multiply 6 and that will be my answer so you have to now see this is the second method that i'm telling you okay euler let's okay. do one more method chinese remainder i don't know if i even i will be able to explain the chinese remainder but i'm hoping that you guys will forgive me <laughs> if you guys yeah. don't understand because at least i have given you two methods thus far okay uh wait wait one one doubt one doubt yeah Uh, yeah, twelve raised to four into twelve into uh, twelve isn't it? Yeah. Can you please can you please undo what you have done? अरे क्या करते हो भैया वरुण कहे इतना परेशान करते हो भी You sometimes give me bonkers, man. Really. You know this is a pain point for me. <laughs> If you, if, if I am you, telling you, na. If you guys start practicing it, na, I am telling you guys will fall in love with this. There is a reason. You, guys, you both of you guys will fall in love with this thing. This is the only topic. I am telling you, this is the only topic that is the most succulent of all of them. I mean, juicy, the juicy okay. topic of all. It actually wastes a lot of time of students, but this is not difficult as such. Uh, one doubt. Uh, yeah. Twelve raised to forty nine. Twelve raised to four k plus four, isn't it? Yeah, four k plus four. Four k. Uh, twelve into four, forty eight. Forty eight plus. Or four k plus one. Four k plus one. Four k plus one. Right, right, right. Four k plus one. Hmm. So um. So. We I could have directly that. done that thing, but we would have still taken out a twelve. If you if you can see that the twelve is still there. Okay, four k plus one, and this twelve is giving me a two over there. Okay, this if you write it as four k plus one, then you are writing effectively you are writing twelve k power forty eight, twelve k power forty eight into twelve into two by five. Yes, yes, and twelve uh, raised to four. Uh, yeah, Correct. this part the remainder is one. One. Okay, okay, twelve raised to forty eight. Oh, forty eight. Uh, four this part. Is... This part the remainder is four, but. Remember the final remainder has to be multiplied by six, so that is what two I did over to 40, there. Two raised to forty-eight is uh, okay. Four inset to four, right? Yeah. Varun is completely silent. Varun, what happened? Tell me. Are you able to like? Is nothing, there any? Nothing, nothing. No, sir. Okay. Is there any insights you want to give? Uh, no, sir. I am just seeking the notes. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Guys, come on. We have to go to the next questions. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. Done. Done. Done, na? Yep. One more, one more method. Chinese remainder. <laughs> Chinese remainder. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah. Even I don't know if you guys will be able to understand it, because you guys have not. Uh, even I am a little bit sometimes uh, worried about the Chinese remainder theorems, because these are. See, the reason for me showcasing it's not. I am trying to say that you know I'm the, I'm a godsend. Kind of a person, and I know everything, and I am the wiz wizard of quant and all that nonsense. Basically, see whichever method you will pick, I don't have a problem. Basic remainder you pick, Euler theorem you pick, Chinese remainder you pick, whichever you pick, that will give you an answer. Okay. Let's see for Chinese remainder. Okay, what we could have done with this one? So I'm writing, rewriting it again. Twelve raised to the fifty upon thirty. Now with Chinese remainder, we basically split the denominator. So this is going to be twelve k power fifty. Upon six into five, the same thing that we did, but in a slightly different way, right? Now, if you realize, okay, there are two bifurcations to this thing. The first bifurcation, or let me write it like this. Okay, let me write it like this. It is going to be twelve raised to the power fifty upon six. Okay, whatever the remainder is, and 
I'm writing and. I'm not multiplying or doing anything. I'm writing and. Okay. 12 raised to the power 50 by 5, whatever the remainder is. Right. Guys, quickly, one second. What is the remainder in this part? One second I'm giving you. Just one second. Remainder. Is it not zero? It's a 12 yeah. raised to power well, and divisible by 60. How can it be anything? It's a zero, no? Yeah, zero, right, right. What about this part? Mm, to remember the same thing, Euler. We can use Euler. 48 plus 2. 2K. Yeah. And 2K raised to 2, 2 is 148. Oh. Can, I, can I write it like this? Can I write it like this? 4 uh, raised to the power, how much? 12. That is 48. 48 into 12 square. Okay. Yes, divided 12, by 5. 5. Uh, 12 square is 144. 12 square is 144. Okay. Divide this by 5. How much will you get? So uh, 12, 12 raised to 4, isn't it? 12 square? No. What? 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 12 raised to 4. 4 raised to 12 into 12 square. Okay. Okay. 12 square, 144. 144, 5, 3, 5, 2, 10, 20. Varun, I am going to now, you know give you a tuply. I come into the computer yeah, and I got, 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 got yeah. I'm actually scribbling here too as well. Yeah. 4 and 4. 8 is a 40. Okay. Remainder comes out as 4. But we really didn't need it to calculate the remainder. I think you guys remember from the last question also the remainder will be 4 only. So 5 say you are getting a remainder of 4. Okay. 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 Now what will we do? This is where Chinese remainder theorems becomes a little complicated. Okay, I'm not going to write anything. I'm not going to give you any theory lecture. I'm going to solve it as it is. We need we need numbers. Okay, a number that when divided by six gives a remainder of zero. That when gets divided by five leaves a remainder of uh, four. Sorry, not five. What what am I doing? Okay, so what what could be such numbers? Okay. So we can start off by six. Okay, let's let's understand this thing. Okay, don't ask me questions right now. I'll explain it towards the end. We can take six. Six when gets divided by six leaves a remainder zero. So six is perfectly okay. Basically, we're looking at a number which combines both this six and five. Okay, but six when divided by five, does it give me a remainder of four? No. So six doesn't work. The next number is 12. 12 when divided by Guys, both of you are ekdam silent. Keep like keep 12, yeah. 12, 12 when 12. divided by six remainder zero. So zero. this part this part is okay. But what about when six uh, twelve divided by five? Is the remainder four? Twelve divided by five. five yeah. Five. Remainder is two. So two, out. Two. let's take eighteen. Eighteen divided obviously zero. Eighteen divided yeah. by five. Three. Three. Doesn't work. Twenty four. Yeah. Divides by 6, remainder 0. Works. Divide by 5, remainder 4. So 24 yeah. works. So this is the idea. This is the least number that will satisfy both the conditions, which when divided by 6 should leave a remainder of 0, which when divided by 5 should leave a remainder of 4. This is the only number, 24. This is the least number that we will be finding. This is Chinese remainder theorem. So 24 has to be my final remainder. Make sense? Yeah. Even if it doesn't make sense, I don't mind because you guys have not done Chinese remainder theorem thoroughly. You should have done it, honestly speaking, because I have done my part. If you guys are not doing practice, then all I can do is scold you. Do nothing <laughs> else. Chalo, let's go to the next yeah. question. I hope you guys are enjoying this type of problem solving. Yeah, yeah. Theory classes are very good, but then, you know, these are the brainstorming sessions. Wait a second. You know, I had you asked me what is what is it that I did today as a part of yeah. my this thing. I was actually watching half. I watched half of Deadpool and half of it is remaining. <laughs> yeah, this is a very important question. A very good question. The type of question that has been tested in CAT also. Not exactly the same one, but a similar question has been tested in CAT in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Should we so, take log? No, no logs, nothing. I'm going to be silent for some time. I'm going to take a leak. Come back in two minutes. Don't chitter chatter. Both of you guys solve this question. Think about this question. Okay. I'm be, I'll be back in two minutes. Okay.
Hello, sir. He'll be back. Hello. Yes, I'm back. Sir, uh, yes. Answer one. Sorry, zero, zero. Right. Option one, two, three, or four? Option one. 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 Okay, give me some logic. Because uh, I've taken either if uh, if A raised to B is equal to one, either B is, uh, B has to be zero or uh, B has to be one. Or one one raised to one is equal to one raised to one is equal to okay. one. I am really happy that you guys are thinking in the right direction. So basically, this is what you did. If I'm allowed, a raised to b is equals to one. This is what yeah. this is something that is in the question. Okay. Yeah. Something raised to the power something has to be one. So what are the cases? Okay. What are the cases? The first case, the first case from this is that 
a can be any real number okay mm. and b can yeah listen to this b has to be zero in that case okay. this is one of the cases okay this is one case the other case is that a is equals to 1 yeah okay and b has to be any real number any real number so i'm like i'm writing it like this only okay in set theory proper set theory this notation is called belongs to okay this this notation is called belongs to so a can belong to any real number and b could be zero one of the cases the second case is there is is there any other case and this is where the cat question also a equal to zero no listen if zero raised to the power anything is zero yeah cool 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 now you have to understand a could also be negative 1 and b will one. be b will be 2 even numbers even num yeah even numbers 2 or multiple of 2 so either you write it even numbers or if you are mathematically inclined you can write it like this also 2x so these are the three expressions that needs to be satisfied right so the answer that you are giving me option number 1 is totally incorrect okay no. because we, i have in done the third case a is equal to minus 1 the third case if you imply let's see what will happen but before that i just want to work around so tell me do you want me to solve it now or let's one minute please okay very good that's a good uh, you know response Varun, what about you? I'm um, taking care. I'm just doing. Okay. I think he would also get to some responses because at the see now basically it boils down to which of these conditions can be the correct one. Holy shit! Has power plus twelve. Okay, okay, okay. If you guys would allow me, I would want to do some scribbling because. Okay. Don't look. Don't look at my work. guys okay now tell me what is going on in your head and then probably let's proceed with this sir question. actually i was um a square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to minus 1 and trying to solve it but uh, you know uh, i am not getting any conclusive answers um and i have to try a square plus x plus 12 is equal to 2 for kind of actually the thing is na there are two things Okay. either you can form an expression you can call this a equals to 1 minus 1 and you can do something or the other ways around you can also try to prove if this thing is equals to 1 or minus 1 if you hmm. start with 1 you can call it the minimum value you can also call it the maximum it cannot be the maximum value of a function so that's why i'm calling fx x square plus 2x plus 2 that is the a a function okay a function as fx okay okay without even equating the function we have studied this thing in quadratic equations okay without even equating it to any number i can actually arrive at a minimum or a maximum number this is a quadratic function mind you not an equation quadratic function if i split the middle term 
okay if i split the middle term i can get i can write this as a part of a perfect square now i can write it like this x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 1 okay i can write it like x plus 1 the whole square plus 1 so the min value of this function the min value of this function is going to be 1 one, at one. at x equals to minus 1 How? Yeah, minus. Substitute x equal to minus one. This becomes zero. Yeah. Or if you are a little inclined, you would know that the minimum value of a perfect square is always zero, because a perfect square, na, it cannot be negative. It's a perfect yeah. square. So zero or more than zero. So minimum value has to be zero. So the min value of this function is one. What does that tell you? That this um, this a function f x can never be equals to minus one. Okay. Why? Why not? Because minimum value, so we have calculated it has to be one only. It cannot be minus one. Yeah. It's this is from there only. So this option is eliminated. Okay. If this option is eliminated, can I say that there are only two more values that I need to check? And of course, this is correct. of course this is correct so one value is possible how many real values at least one real value is possible so far yeah. are you even understanding what i'm yes, saying yes yes because uh, yes, yes, i no, I, I, like... i got i got minus 1 earlier yeah because i uh, i did x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 1 and uh, when i uh, you know my, minus b plus or minus i got the value minus 1 mm. and that's a real, uh, for x and that's a real number what real value See, I'll tell you one thing. After that, I'll proceed. Okay. Look, understand this thing. This is not an equation. A is equals to one is not an equation. It is the value of the function, Varun. Okay. So equating it to one will is not the answer. Can you at least understand what I'm saying? This is the value of the function. This is the function. Okay. Yes. Yes. i am asking you what could be the minimum value of the function the minimum value of the function to find the minimum value of a function we don't need to equate it to anything we can find it by you know splitting the middle term or complete it. this is basically called completing the square okay method of completing the square okay okay it will take some time you'll understand what i'm what i have done over there that is uh, you know splitting the Uh, middle term in by two and uh, try eight and they can yeah yeah b by four yeah. and all that also yeah yeah I, I know I know, I know. effectively for a quadratic function the minimum will happen minimum at minus had will happen at minus b by two a so you you can do some formula trick also but I think this I never really you know remembers formulas so for me it is always a good idea if I can make a perfect square out of a situation and then I can predict it okay and ninety nine percent of the cases you can form a perfect square okay having yeah. said that. equating it to 1 will destroy the entire thing okay equating it to 1 is a this is a complete wrong thing that we can do this is the value of a is equals to 1 do you understand what is a equals to 1 1 raised to the power anything a 1 raised will to 1 anything okay so we cannot just equate it to 1 this is not a equals to 1 we are not equating okay that is one thing yeah. one part of the expression and that is why it is actually a difficult question okay This is round two questions, mind you. This is not the type of a question that you will solve in the first round of your mock test. Anyways, okay. so a equals to one is a possibility. The minimum value of one can definitely be one. So a equals to one is a possibility. Now what else? E with this thing, I have already able to eliminate this part because a cannot be equal to negative one because a is already plus one. So if it is plus one, it cannot be negative one, right? Yeah. And uh, have you tried uh, one Somebody, raised to? Hold on, hold on. Somebody at this point can still say, "Why, sir? Why cannot be negative one? Because this is the value, yep. value of a. Value of a came out to be one. We verified it. Okay, the minimum value of a is one. It cannot be negative one, and that is why it cannot happen. Okay. Now, the other part. Obviously, any real number we will not be able to check. We'll have to check this part B. Let's check that. i'm doing it over there okay that is x square plus x plus 
what is it that i need to do this thing i need i need to make sure if the minimum value is zero can we can we at least agree to that thing hello yeah that we have Even. to find if it is zero all of you if the function this is again a function of of x yes this function the minimum value has to be zero it cannot be anything else let's see if we can do that okay so in my mind what is going on in is that can i write 12 as 48 by 4 yeah can i also write it like this x square plus x plus 1 upon 4 plus 47 upon 4 now you'll realize why i'm doing all that because 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 is a perfect square 1 by 2 ka whole square two. okay so this will give me x plus 1 by 2 the whole square okay plus 47 by 4 it will take some time there is a formula also you can use a formula in other words the min value of fx is 47 by 4 is not equals to 0 so this also gets eliminated so effectively there is only one possible value for it yeah uh <clears throat> sir what if um, we are taking oh hello yeah yeah i'm listening oh uh, nothing nothing understood understood perfect <laughs> okay give it some time look into it in your own like space varun do you want to add something nothing sir this is some this is these are the type of questions you know th where exactly are these question coming from it's an act modeled question actual cat modeled question okay so this was a 2022 question okay having said that um and i will tell you which question it is from it's a very infamous question the question that they gave you na that was not even equal to one it was less than one okay okay now less than one is a even more painful task okay so again i i will i will give you the exact question also but this was a fairly doable question in that order chalo next question this is a doable one i am hoping this is doable you guys can be, you guys will be able to do this hopefully you can see it no not ap or create is there hp i don't know i have okay. no idea how do i know all this while you guys have been solving questions yeah you asking me you mocking me <laughs> let's see Four one by three. Guys, we'll just keep at this one only. I I feel like we need some rest also today, so I am just okay. gonna keep it at that. Okay. So we'll yeah. be having class on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. Five to six thirty. Five to six thirty. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I actually want to do a lot many questions, but I am feeling really tired. I mean. I just want to sleep now. I want to eat my food and I want to go back to bed. I also want to complete the Deadpool, but probably I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I have fifteen more questions to complete for today. Let's see if I can complete it. you know from the next class onward when we will have a past mock problem solving session i will do it like this i will give you guys a pdf of questions that pdf will have 10 15 questions 20 questions whatever and i'll give you like 40 minutes okay i will be available but i will not be communicating with you guys you can also mute yourself unmute yourself whatever you if you want to have a conversation among each other that's okay after 40 minutes i will come back and we'll discuss all the questions together in that okay. case we can do much more questions but if yeah. we do one one questions it takes time 
okay i hope that is mm, yeah that makes sense sir here i can't find a pattern like uh, i mean we can find a pattern for i mean or dot ev uh, for 1 by 4 1 by 16 1 by 64 like that oh okay oh right on right on right now do i even have to solve it so no. basically these are two separate gps okay the yeah. one gp is obviously 4 1 One by four, one by sixteen, and so on and so forth, and the other one is three one, one by three, one by nine, and so on and so forth, right? So the in just tell me the sum of infinite terms. Formula. A by one minus r. Very good. A is four. Common ratio is one by four. Yeah. So is it going to be four? Uh, one minus four by. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is going to be one by four. Four into four by four by. Yeah. Three by four. Three by four. Four goes to the numerator. Sixteen yeah. by three. Sixteen by three. Okay. This is for the first one. So let's call it S S one infinity. S two infinity is going to be the same thing. Let's do it orally. Three by one minus one, one by, by three. Three by two by three. So nine by two. Two. Do it yeah. in your mind. Three by one minus one by three. Two by three. Three goes to the numerator. Two in the denominator. So three into three nine by two. Okay. Now, obviously, we are going to sum of them, na? So we'll add s one infinity plus s two infinity. That is going to be sixteen by three plus nine by two. Just observation, right? So this is going to be how much? Add this like that. This is going to be six and thirty two plus again twenty seven fifty nine. This is what happens to you in CAT. These are actually, you know, sitters okay. modeled. As difficult question, and Varun was the first guy who told, who said that, sir, the, there is a pattern. So you yeah. need to look out for a pattern. Okay, and this is what mock tests and practicing questions does to you. It actually gives you, it basically gives you some patterns, right? Okay. So let's do the next question in the next session. Yeah. And so this is SimCat questions or uh, what question was? That? Yeah, these are SimCat only. Okay. Okay. Or maybe okay. if you if you want, we can do one more question. One more arithmetic question, and I will I let me boost my morale. <laughs> no, uh, not arithmetic as such. We'll do one question from time speed and distance because you know yeah. we did time speed and distance. Uh, this this has like everything. We'll do an MCAT session also in some time. We did a very similar question yesterday. This is yeah. linear. This is linear races, mind you. So they say Ami and Pami are running a 200 meter race. They both start from the same point at the same time. Pami beats Ami by 10 seconds. Okay, so okay. Pammy, Amy, or Amy, whatever, by ten seconds. If you take the speed of Pammy as P and the speed of Amy as A, the first equation because they beat by ten seconds. What does that mean? Quickly. Uh, D by two hundred by P. Two hundred by P. Minus two hundred by a is equal to. One second, one second. Pami beats Ami by ten. Pami beats Ami by ten, right? So two hundred by a. Mm. Yes. Minus two hundred by p is equals to ten. Now this is one equation. Yeah. Just keep it at that. Mm. This is one of the equation. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm doing. Both yes, of yes. you. Okay. Now the If other part. Ami runs twice. Now, two a. Two a. Ami or Ami whatever. Yeah. Pami so, still is p. That means two hundred by p minus two hundred by two a. Yeah. But I we haven't read it. If Ami runs twice, 
as fast as a normal running speed ami bit spammy by now this time around it changes 200 yeah. by p minus 200 by 2a uh, varun you are understanding it na i am um, yes varun forcefully sure. don't say yes no okay this is just like time ka thing that they have given na this is a time ka thing that they have given if i beat you by 15 second this is my time distance by speed okay distance by speed this is my this is the time of pammy this is the time of emmy beating by 15 second this is a simple thing varun yeah okay so this is equation number 2 yep what mm. have they asked how much uh, head start should pammy give acha let's do one thing because can we are... find this from the uh, options no 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 the, the, very good question and a silly question also at the same time because you have to read the entire thing they have asked you how much head start should pammy give to ami so that the race ends in a dead heat if both of them hmm. run at their usual speed so now i cannot just look at equation they are not asking the speeds mind you they are asking yeah. distance distance so with this hmm. i can find out the speeds let's find out the speeds okay let's write them in order so i'll write it like 200 by p i'm writing this thing first 200 by p plus 200 by a that is equals to 10 i hope that makes sense hello both yeah. of you adding yeah. these two equations 2 and 1 okay if i add them this one gets eliminated hello yes yes 200 by 2a minus 200 by a what will be the difference it will be 100 by a that is equals to 5 no sorry we are adding uh, yeah 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 we are adding adding 25 do it i'll give you some time do it i don't want to rush in minus 200 by 2a plus 200 by 2a so uh, no, we, we are we are like 200 i mean 100 by a plus 200 by a wait 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 are we uh... any problem hello we need to move past this any problem in this thing addition this oh. just doing just oh. doing just doing okay four a comes out as four we can also calculate the value of p just substitute the value of a in any one of them okay you will get the value let's substitute that over there only okay a is equals to four so this is 25 25 uh Plus fifteen, that is forty. Forty, na. So P yeah. comes out as five. So now, just understand how much head start should Pammy give Amy so the race should end in a dead heat if both of them run at their usual speed. Guys, the speed of Pammy is five meters per second. Hello. Yes. Five meters per second. The speed say he is running. the 200 meters ka race so how much time pammy will take to understand Don't pammy why pammy and not emmy because pammy is winning it 200 by yeah. 5 so pammy will take 40 seconds okay. okay okay in those 40 seconds my dear friend please understand this is important 40 seconds but understand this is what is happening pammy and emmy Pammy went to this. Yeah. Amy is still somewhere over there. Okay. One sixty. Yeah. Very good. You've understood this thing. In the forty seconds, where Amy would be, so Amy would be at whatever time into speed that is the distance. So forty into four for Amy, so that is one sixty meters. So Amy is going to be at one sixty meter. If I'm allowed, hold on. 
if i'm allowed let me take you to the white screen so pammy is at the mark 400th mark okay pammy is over there amy is over there at 160 yeah. from 0 to 160 so there is a difference of 40 meters now please understand if pammy would have given this fellow 40 meters ka head start yeah the nemi would have won na they have reached uh, yeah yeah up. sorry not one they would have ended in dead heat dead heat yes yes so this is the answer to that yeah. understood varun on on man sir class sir we calculated the speeds of pammy and emmy from the equations we find out we found out how much time pammy will take to finish the race we realized pammy will finish the race in 40 seconds in those 40 seconds emmy will be at 160 meter that is 40 meter behind pammy okay let's not call pammy emmy let's call pna so a needs 40 meters to reach p the now that basically should tell you that there is a if i give a head start from 160 to 200 if i give a head start of 40 to a 40 minute sorry meters 40 meters ka head start to a the race will end in a dead heat so 40 meters good question okay okay definitely the type of a question that can be tested in your exams so yeah we'll just keep it at that honestly speaking i would have gone for some more 